old school YouTube news blog. I straight up started this video. <laughs> I started this shit without the sound on. I looked up and I was like, bro. Sound doesn't even know. All right, so yeah. Bro, so if you've been watching my channel for a while yeah. now, you know I like doing deep dives. Oh, yeah, I was saying it's going to be a surprise to everybody else, but just like on Twitch, but it ain't going to be a surprise to y'all because, you know, y'all finna see the thumbnail and everything by the time it's uploaded to YouTube. To everybody else, it's a surprise. The old school YouTube news blooper videos. Today, we're going to be talking about a video that in many ways mimics the Grape Lady video in regards to his origin date, circumstances surrounding it, and viral spread. We're talking about the news reporter turns ghetto in three seconds video. The fuck is that? <laughs> this video was uploaded yeah. to YouTube back in 2008 and is widely known and recognized by internet users as being one of the first viral news blooper videos on YouTube. But the video itself is actually much older than the upload date would have you believe with it originating sometime in the mid 90s. Recently I've revisited this clip and I've got some questions that I want answered. I want to know who the man in the clip is, I want to know how this clip from the mid 90s got onto YouTube, and I want to know what happened to the reporter or the man in the video after this clip went viral. Before we get started, I want to thank Honey for sponsoring today's video. Bro, do you like saving money shopping? This online? nigga, I well, swear, honey, got a sponsorship that. for Besides every bid. Target to game, to game, Home Depot, Bro. you name. Want to have any bugs flying into your mouth this summer like the reporter did? Well, you better have some bug spray and citronella candles on deck. We saved a dollar sixty on these right Bro, here. Not it's bad. Still the app, some Bro. kind of. And look, I know this sounds too good to be true. There has to be some kind of catch, right? Well, there really isn't a catch involved with Honey. Whenever you use one of their coo no reason not to start using honey today. So go ahead and get honey. This nigga can't be serious. That turned ghetto in three seconds slash the bug in the mouth news report clip. Our story begins in the summer of 1996 in Augusta, Arkansas. The KARK4 local news station sent at the time 24 year old news reporter Isaiah Carey to Augusta High School to document a special report about the recent on campus death of a student named Chris Woods. Kerry had been in the field reporting for years at this point in his career, having held several different news-related jobs across the Mid-South and was generally seen as a rising star in the local news hustle. Mm -hmm. Part of the assignment given to Isaiah Kerry by the KARG4 news station on this day was to film a stand-up montage for the Chris Wood story when it would air on live TV. And if you're unfamiliar with the term stand-up in regards to TV reported editorials, stand-ups refer to pre-recorded segments that are spliced into editorial pieces and are often used in nightly news programming. They pretty much add some production value and make the report more eye-catching and more interesting to watch. Yeah. Once Kerry and his team arrived at the high school, they set up their equipment in front of a fence that enclosed the school's football field and track. It was here during the recording of a stand-up take that a news blooper legend was born. What really happened on that Thursday here at Augusta High School that led to Chris Wood's death? The fuck is that? <laughs> I'm dying in this fucking country ass fucked up town. I gotta be honest with you guys. I live in the South and I know all too well the struggles of having a damn beetle or mosquito or yellow jacket, you know, insects just flying all up in your grill. It's not a pleasant experience and I totally empathize with Mr. Carey here on this free Man, All that... jokes aside, let's yeah, make one thing clear. So this gross, clip bro. was by no means ever aired on live television. Like I said a minute ago, it was filmed for the stand-up piece that was going to be included in the editorial on the nightly news program. But it didn't get so used. It never was actually seen by like thousands of people watching the local news. It was recorded on a VHS tape and basically taken as an outtake and thrown in the archives at the KR4 news station. The bug in the mouth outtake would remain in the KR4 archives collecting dust for years as Isaiah Carey continued on with his broadcasting career. In 2001, Isaiah Carey would leave KR4 and move to Houston, Texas. And yes, he would sir. Take a new job up at Fox News Houston. And this Fox News Houston job would be where he remained for the foreseeable future. Fast forward. I to knew I recognized him like like whenever I first saw that, I was like, I recognize this dude. It's because my mom always watching the damn news and shit at home and fucking 
Breaking all that shit. Isaiah Carey is still working for Fox News Houston and at this point has his own nightly reporting segment called The Isaiah Factor. Things were going yeah. well for him career wise and he had maintained a rather spotless, clean cut reputation in the industry. You know, However, man. trouble was brewing. In June of 2008, Carrie received a phone call from a friend who worked at a local Houston radio station. The friend informed Carrie that someone had uploaded an old video clip of him cursing while reporting the news, and it was going viral on a website called YouTube. At first, Carrie thought his friend was joking, but his friend sent over a link to a YouTube video titled News Reporter Goes Ghetto in Three Seconds found on the Nut Crusher Nigel YouTube channel. And to his shock, this video that was going viral on YouTube was the old outtake from the Augusta High School stand-up take back in 1996. So how did this clip that was recorded all the way back in 1996, thrown in the KRK4 archives, get onto YouTube in 2008? Well, I'll let Isaiah Carey explain how it happened himself. So the NBC station that I work for in Little Rock, mm -hmm. right? They move from one location to downtown Little Rock. Okay. And when they bro, listen to this news dude's freaking voice. Listen to Isaiah's freaking voice, bro. His he has like a legendary voice, bro. They left a box of tapes out front. And so this guy who plays in this alternative rock band or cover band yeah. was walking by at like three, four in the morning. Stop, he said, let me open this box and see what's in it. Yeah. So he took a couple of the VHS tapes home. Right. Watched it, saw my video. Yeah. And put it on, on the internet. According to an article by the Arkansas Times, the person that found the collection of archived KRK4 videos is a musician named Donovan Suit. And as Carrie previously said in that clip, the man came into the possession of a collection of old KRK4 outtakes after the station moved locations. Donovan Suit would then go on to upload the large collection of outtakes to his YouTube channel called Bizarre Media. The actual original version of Isaiah Carey's outtake can be found on this bizarre media YouTube channel with the title Bug in Mouth slash Roving Reporter Etiquette Number 6. While this is the first version of the video being uploaded on April 18th of 2008, Nutcrusher Nigel's June 10th re-upload of the video dwarfs the original in terms of views, with Nigel's boasting around 24 million views today, while bizarre- And it's because this dude put- or was it them who put no it was him he put black reporter goes ghetto in three seconds like, you our media is only has close to six hundred and fifty thousand. and i think that nutcrusher nigel's titling choice may have something to do with the increased yeah. view count but that's not the only reason because it's important to note that Bizarre Media's video clip was actually shown on Jimmy Kimmel Live the same day that Nigel uploaded his clip. So he probably stole some of the hype from Jimmy Kimmel and it funneled it into Nigel's video and that was the one that ultimately went super viral. So now that this profanity laced clip of Isaiah Carey cursing, you know, while he's reporting is going viral. What is his immediate reaction or response to this? Well, at first it's shame and embarrassment and he wants nothing to do with it. I don't see why, bro. Answering. Like, I don't see why I like be ashamed of that shit. Like, bro, at the end of the day, like you human, just like the rest of us, you human, just like the rest of us, like a bug, if a bug flew in my fucking mouth, I'm fucking cursing this shit too. Like, I don't give a fuck. Like the fuck, like you're human. I get like be professional and shit. I don't care. You get the richest fucking most wealthy person in the world. Let a bug fly in his fucking mouth. I guarantee you're going to be like, what the fuck? I guarantee you're going to say that shit. And if he's fucking, if that shit fly in his mouth and he start chewing it and shit, I'm sorry. I don't, I don't know where that came from. But I guarantee you're going to be like, what the fuck, bro? any questions regarding it he would refuse to publicly talk about the clip for years however as time passed it became clear that the clip wasn't having any negative effects on isaiah carey's career and he also saw how the internet was reacting to his clip he was becoming like this beloved icon online and finally he would decide to break his silence in the biggest way possible by going on Tosh.0 and talking with Daniel. In the episode, Tosh gets Carrie to finally reveal some of the details about what happened back oh, in Augusta, Tosh would be the last person that I And he also reveals the type of bug that flew in his mouth. 
Here's some highlights. Are you afraid of bugs? I'm afraid of unexpected bugs. My photographer <laughs> and I, we were shooting the scene, and this grasshopper, out of nowhere, in my mouth. Did you eat the grasshopper? No, I didn't. Spit it out immediately. Do you feel that you might have a form of Tourette's? <laughs> Is there any other things that have gotten into your mouth that you didn't like? <laughs> Would you consider Bro. what that grasshopper did to be a hate crime? Since the Tosh interview in 2011, Bro. Isaiah Carey has spoken about the bug in the mouth incident on numerous platforms, and it seems like he no That's longer good. views it as this shameful blemish on his career. So he hasn't had any new profanity-laced outtakes be released onto the internet without his knowledge, but he did find himself in a newer controversy that happened just last year involving himself being pulled over and arrested for a DWI. And no. that situation was pretty public with him issuing an apology on his personal Facebook page. I offer my deepest apologies to Fox 26, my family, and the community for this incident. I know that consuming any alcohol and driving is a poor decision. This situation does not reflect my values or my commitment to the city I have called home for 20 years. No matter what the outcome, I am fully committed to working tirelessly to restore the confidence and faith this community has placed in me. I do ask that you allow this matter to be addressed in the appropriate manner. Any and all future questions or concerns should be directed to my legal counsel. Sincerely, Isaiah Carey. So yeah, Stay out the <laughs> news, bro. Up and got a DWI. I don't know the details of sentencing or what kind of fines he had to pay, but I found that something worth mentioning. So to wrap things up, to this day, Isaiah Carey still works for Fox News Houston as a reporter right, they gave him a and host chance. of the Isaiah Factor. His career in journalism has been going strong for over 20 years at this point. He is currently 48 years old and doesn't seem to express the desire to retire from his work anytime soon. But one thing is for sure, long after Carey signs off for his last day of reporting, he'll still be remembered by the millions for years to come for that... <laughs> Y'all saw, y'all saw. <laughs> I do, I do was freaking bobbing and weaving, bro. Take that occurred that fateful day all the way back in 1996. So that's the Isaiah Carey bug in the mouth reporter goes ghetto in three seconds story. It's pretty crazy to me how this clip actually got on the internet with the man walking down the street and just finding the box of archived KRG4 videos. That's insane. What did you guys think about this story? Let me know in the comment section. And if you have any suggestions for future videos, be sure to drop those as well. Major shout outs to my patrons. I appreciate you guys. Wavy Web Surf out. Peace. Well, that's all the time we have for Isaiah Carey. I'm Isaiah Carey. May you have a pleasant tomorrow. Peace out. Stay tuned. Tyler Perry's Meet the Brown. Bro, what the hell was that? Never mind, bro. I think they did one of them things where, like, they have two people with the same person on camera and, like, one of them back one way, the other one back the other way. But, all right. It's time to get, you know, back to the moment that y'all have all been waiting for. I 